in this video i want to tell you something whenever you need any kind of for example first person shooter controller third person shooter controller or whatever it is okay stop basically coding them from scratch okay you're gonna be missing a, or actually losing a lot of time and spending time on something that is not really worth it right now and i'm gonna be explaining these reasons uh, in this video as a professional goaded developer so if you are for example for in the goaded as a diary and you look for fps for example and you have here a complete starter kit fps from Kenny, okay, which is one of the best sites that you can from where you can get assets, okay, in general for your games. This is actually the template that I'm using, which as you can see is super complete, at least for something that is just that just works. You don't have a gun that you can shoot with, so you don't have to be coding this camera movement with the mouse from scratch. You don't have to be writing from scratch this shooting logic. Uh, you don't have to be coding from scratch this movement with W, A, S, and D. You don't have to be doing anything of that. Because you can directly go over here and take a look at the code, copy, paste it, use it however you want, okay? And you may think, oh, wow, but what's the matter with just, or, or isn't it bad to just copy, paste code to just use something that was made by somebody else and I don't understand anything? So, first of all, what I want to show is the following. Whenever you go to the Goda Accelerator and look for FPS, you're going to find thousands of these kinds of controllers. These are all tools that we as developers use all the time. Examples are, are first person shooters, okay, or, or first person controls in general. We also have third person, and I think that we're just looking for third person, you're gonna find third person controllers, same machine, third person controllers, better third person camera, dozens of examples. So, why would you spend maybe, I don't know, even half an hour or an hour or two, three, four, five hours coding your own third person controller that may not feel as smooth as these ones, okay, uh, when you can press two clicks? here download and with that you have it okay why would you do that why many people think it's worth it is because okay if i just import this into my project okay or i use this project as a template i wouldn't understand anything but that's not true of course if you are writing something completely from scratch um you're actually gonna be able to uh, let's say fully understand what is doing but a lot of other cases even if you are kind of trying your write your own code you may not even understand how it works or why it works okay so we have to kind of bust that myth that okay whenever you are your own code you understand and you learn because a lot of times you're writing your, your own code you are wandering through random youtube tutorials helping yourself with ais and you literally don't understand anything so from that, from that point of view, at least from my experience, there is no such a difference. And once again, if you're already a beginner, something, somebody that, is, that does want to create games or whatever it is, okay, have your own project idea, okay? Uh, grab here a whiteboard, okay, where it is physical or in your PC, and start writing your own game idea. And whenever you're writing this game idea, you will understand that you will need many things. You will need, for example, a first person shooter controller you will also need a save and load the system you will need uh, an enemy system so some of these things you can directly get them from an asset from some from from people that had already done the um, the dirty job let's say and focus on maybe stuff that you cannot directly import from a library such as for example let's not use this one but from writing your own gdd basically your own game design document from actually coming up with um good and interesting game ideas okay because if you go to um play store steam whatever it is what actually stands out in those games and what actually makes them unique in in many cases is not the um, the first person shooter controller they have is not the save and load system it's not none of those systems that are behind that the user does not really know anything about them what they are really interested in and why those games sell is because of their design of their unique mechanics that they have so this is a key point in mo in lots of cases in which you have to be focusing on in things that you cannot directly press import and, and it's done in, in things that you cannot directly tell an ai to do so good and interesting game ideas is a must okay whether it is to sell your own game or to do it for your own you have to focus on tasks that are actually the, the most enjoyable and the ones that actually have the most impact on your final game 
Once again, whenever you go to a Steam game or to any game, probably the save and load system nowadays should work perfectly. The first person shooter controller should work perfectly. So what differentiates games is actually the design bits behind them, the feel also. So here also comes, for example, if your game has, uh, for example, some kind of narrative. Um, so let's start actually noting down some stuff here, things that maybe you cannot directly click import or an AI can help you 100%. So this is the game, feel, basically the particles, the VFXs, all that, even the, 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 um, how do you sell it? The, the aesthetic of the game, all that, okay, you have to define. Um, we, even if you have, your game has some kind of narrative or story uh, that is memorable. Okay. And the key thing that I want to mention again is engaging game mechanics. So what happens if you uh, spend all your time, all your resources in these things that with one click you can import? And that is that you will have fewer resources to spend into these things that, at least from my experience, are the actual important ones. The true reality is that nobody cares about your first person shooting controllers, nobody cares about your safe and load system, so just try to get uh, this task out of your pipeline as soon as possible so that you can directly focus on the things that matter. And something else to add to this. Right now, the Gordon Celery, let's say, is a little bit empty, but they are building a new asset source. You can see with a way better UI with 3D tools, 2D tools, uh, audio tools, uh, even assets, okay, so uh, basically models, or it is. Um, and this could basically soon become, for example, something like the Unity Asset Store, which is one of the best uh, stores, okay, uh, everywhere, where you can get literally anything. If you go to tools, take a look at all the tools that you can find. Animation, audio, behavior AI, camera, game toolkit, generative AI, G UI, AI, uh, input management, integration, level design, localization, modeling, network, painting, everything okay so you don't have any more to be wasting time on this task let's try to do the same thing fps let's just look at this something super generic and you will have dozens of results okay with well in this case models um but we can for example firstly let's put free for example and in categories let's for example use templates okay we have multiplayer fps templates a template you download and you have multiplayer first person shooter working you have another one here you have an fps micro game okay uh, low poly sure pack for example okay you have a lot of things so you can start from something from something that looks like this maybe and not from a black screen so there is a huge turnaround a huge switch that we have to do ourselves and you may think oh but i want to create everything on my own start everything on my own okay if you want to do it like that just do it okay we, we all have freedom we can all do whatever we want but i want to tell you something if if you ever work for a company or you want to maximize your revenue as a freelancer a lot of times you have to be thinking of efficiency okay of making the most out of your work with the least amount of time possible if whenever you are working in a mobile game development studio okay maybe you have to release a game every four weeks okay so you cannot be doing as i mentioned the controller uh whatever it is the save and and low system you cannot be doing all those things from scratch you have to uh, kind of help yourself with that with using pre-made assets or or whatever it is and focus on the things that we have mentioned before that will actually make those four weeks actually um worth it and if you tell your boss or your client okay i i'm not gonna take four weeks i'm gonna take or i will take six weeks okay because i want to actually make everything from scratch you you won't be able to tell them that of course because they have a deadline or they have a budget okay um or you say okay i'm gonna still do it in four weeks but i will still uh, i don't want to import things for, from other people i want to do everything from scratch nice but then the product that you're gonna be able to do is gonna be super worse imagine that we have subject a and subject b subject a does all these things from scratch whereas subject v has them from the store so which game at the end of the game at the end of the four weeks is gonna be better okay so if these are two possible workers two possible employees the boss the user okay both of them uh which game are they gonna like most and therefore they're gonna the game's gonna be sold more of course 
Game B, okay? Game B. Now, I'm not telling you that if you're a beginner, okay, the only thing that you have to do is go into the Goda templates and do and 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 just go into any of these games, swap your your models, swap a few things and publish your game. I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you use these codes use these projects to streamline your game development process but do understand what is going on here at least a little bit because then if you want to add something else to the game you won't be able to do it so then which is the best way of um, of dealing with all this the first thing is okay start using assets code from the internet then if you're still not an intermediate or advanced developer and therefore maybe you don't have a, let's say a, a, a lot of experience in the engine or in the programming language right now you have ai i want second you will tell me no i don't want ai okay here we're using ai as a tutor if you don't want to use ai hire a human to explain you the code okay you can do that of course it's way more expensive but we can directly copy all this code drop it into ChatGPT, gemini whatever you like you can paste it and just here tell ChatGPT. Uh, write me a guide for a beginner about this code and enable some kind of thinking or reasoning model uh, because sometimes uh, this is a more daunting task as you can see there's actually lots of code so that you get the best answer possible it may take a couple minutes but it's gonna be worth the wait and while that is being done, I, I, I'm just going to be closing this video over here once again. I'm not against learning everything from scratch, doing everything from scratch, because even me myself started doing that and it's perfectly fine. And when you are a beginner, the first two, three, four, five games, the first tutorials that you follow, the first courses that you take, you will be doing everything from scratch. But when the moment comes that you want to create something, release something, showcase something in your portfolio, showcase something for a client, for a job, you have to really be using this resources okay and as you can see here we start to have a guide on exactly how this works okay with the the, the real explanation okay once in you say okay i don't want ai okay hire somebody go to a, a freelancer marketplace i don't know go to facebook and hire somebody go to linkedin and hire somebody go to fiverr to upwork you have the possibility okay but you have to have the money okay this is the free um the free way to do it okay so we need to be very careful because Godog knows how much how, how much people actually love these kind of tools that they are doing their own Godog as a store with actually a good UI, a good user experience, a good everything because they know the true power that their competitors have, such as Unity, which you go to the to the tool section and you have literally everything that you need for creating a game. And here we actually have the guide been written okay so as you can see a lot of text a lot of code this is literally a book okay you can even tell it to give it to you in pdf format and you can have it as an ebook so there you go i hope that you have enjoyed this video as much as i have so if it was the case please subscribe to the channel leave a like and see you in the next one